Hey, what's happening, guys? Um, I was looking at Instructables yesterday, and I came across this Instructable. Refurbish your soldering iron tip. It's got 3,078 views, 34 likes, which is fine. Except, this is not an instructable on how to refurbish your soldering iron tip. This is an instructable on how to destroy your soldering iron tip. So first of all, if your soldering iron tip looks like this, you're lazy. You need to be wiping it off in between each, at least, at least every other time you solder something. You wipe it off on either the sponge or the cleaner. If your soldering iron tip looks like that, you're just lazy and you're not going to get good solder. So this guy's telling you to unscrew the tip, put it into a drill, and use sandpaper to clean it. Great balls of fire. You won't have any soldering iron tip left. You're going to take the coating off of it, and you're going to be left with nothing but the core metal, which is going to pit and oxidize and eat itself up like the snake that eats itself, and I can't remember its name. Uh, let's go over to the bench. I'm going to show you how to clean and retin your soldering iron tip. Oh, my. Okay, so here we are over at the bench with my Zenny 937D+. Plus. At the time I bought it, it was the cheapest soldering station I could find. I paid, I think, $25 for it. And I tell you what, I use this thing almost every day, and it's fine. But this isn't an advertisement for this. We're talking about how to clean and retin your tip. So first of all, this is what my tip looks like every day. I don't know if it's going to focus here or not. Let's see. That's as dirty as it gets, because I wipe it every time I use it. But were it to get a little bit pitted or oxidized, well, if it got pitted, I'd throw it away. But if it were to get a little bit oxidized, first thing you want to do is get some flux. This is some extremely old rosin core flux from Radio Shack. Rest in peace, Radio Shack. I loved Radio Shack. But apparently they couldn't handle their biznaz. All right, so... You're going to need two things, the flux and some solder. This is 6040 lead tin solder that I use. Um, this is from MG Chemicals, 0.032 diameter, 22 gauge, 2.2% flux. Any 6040 solder is good for this. So this is simply a process of beginning by wiping off your iron, then you dip it into the flux, which is going to clean it off. Then once it regains its heat, we retin it. Get a, you know, a, a decent blob of solder on there. And I wipe it off. And then we're going to do it again. See how shiny that's getting? Let's zoom in there. Oh, now it doesn't want to focus on it. Okay. Then we tin it again. Get a decent amount of solder on there. See? Nice and shiny. Flip the solder off. Wipe it off. Nice and shiny. I'm going to do it again. You can do this as many times as you want. For the jump cut there, I had to sneeze. Those flux fumes can be a little irritating to my sinuses. So now we're nice and, nice and tin. And here's what I like to do when I put the soldering iron away for the day. Get a nice big ball of solder on the tip like this. So it's just about ready to hang off. Turn off the power to the iron. You can see I've shut the iron off. Let that hang there a little bit until it falls off. 
Now my tip is coated. It's nicely tinned. Here, hold on. Let me, uh, let's try this again here. Some light, maybe. Focus on my hand. Then we can bring the soldering iron in. Of course, there's no light on that, is there? Eh, just my luck. There's some light. See how shiny that is? Oh, you can see the difference. I mean, that, oh, that's shiny, too. I don't, I'm sorry, I don't have a shitty pitted iron that I can show you because I keep them clean. But that's how easy it is. Please don't ever take sandpaper to your soldering iron. You're just going to destroy it. Flux, solder, and either your sponge or that Brillo-looking cleaner that I use these days. That's it. There's nothing else needed. Okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all my patrons, especially my new patrons. Uh, you'll find your name on the list within a day or two of signing up. I don't, I don't check it every day. So, that being said, we'll close up the old rosin course, rosin soldering flux. That's it. I'm out. Peace.